Welcome, it's Kimberly Sherry, International Energy Healer, helping you lead a life of wealth without worry. Today we're gonna to be talking about spiritual detox. Now, those of you who have ever done kind of any kind of a cleanse, uh, yeah, you may be familiar with things that happen when you do a physical cleanse, like a, a detox on a body level. And when we maybe go on a fast or we do a very, um, hey Erica, we do a very cleansing protocol, we start to release a lot of toxins and this affects the body on a physical way. So if you can't release those toxins fast enough, you're gonna experience symptoms. There's a difference between knowing if you're detoxing or if maybe you actually have the flu or a cold is that you're, you'd be having these symptoms because of having done this, this protocol to initiate some kind of a cleanse, as opposed to you just have like fluey like symptoms or feeling very achy and you haven't really done anything. Chances are that's um, more of a, a virus or a cold or the flu or something like that. But if you've actually done the protocol to do the cleanse, then you know that the symptoms you're experiencing are a result of having done what you were just doing, the cleanse. The same thing is true on a spiritual level. So when I'm talking about a spiritual detox, what I'm talking about is raising your energetic vibration to this new place and then uh, th there's a gap between, hey, uh, Jerry, good, <laughs> glad you made it. Um, there's a gap between where you are now and where you desire to be. So maybe where you desire to be, all those dreams, desires, intentions that are kind of pulling you forward, uh, that's in, in a different vibration up here. And so in order to get from this lower vibration where you are up into this higher vibration, you need to release the things that are holding you back, the things that are holding you down. Hey, Andy. And as a result, uh, your life may change drastically and you may experience detox symptoms. Sometimes that can you can feel that on, on a physical level. You might get symptoms of feeling physically unwell. You might feel headachey, you might feel um, nauseous you might have uh, like lots of discharge from like sinuses and so forth and then you also may experience letting go of bigger things <laughs> that are, have been holding you back maybe you're in a relationship that's not at this high vibration where you want to go where you want to be and maybe your relationship will start to feel like it's got more problems more arguing more you know discord as you notice that the difference in that vibration. Um, you may lose your job. If it's a job that you've been complaining about that you hate or you can't stand or it's really hard, well, you know, be careful what you ask for. Uh, you may discover that the, the new job that you want is up here in this higher vibration. And so you have to let go of these things that are, are not in, they're not congruent with this higher vibration. Um, just trying to think of some, some other things of, of where this, this detox will show up. Um, so the, those, are, those are some of the ways. And I, I've noticed that you know, when I work, am working with my mentor, he does a lot of um, releasing old programs, which uh, that's something I do as well. And I notice that when this happens, I often feel very blank. Like I'm not particularly joyful, I'm not sad or depressed, I'm just kind of flat, just kind of like, hmm, you know? And so sometimes this can happen in spiritual detox where you let go of these old programs, but until the new reprogramming takes into effect, uh, there might be this just blank slate feeling. The reason that I'm bringing this up is because I know that there's a lot of people that go and get help or they do things to raise their vibration. And then they bump up against these energies and then maybe their life starts to feel worse. I know I, I had this one client who um, came to me um, and she had a lot of money issues and was wanting to raise her vibration. 
And so after we, um, you know, did a couple sessions, then everything really started to implode. <laughs> uh, there was a huge storm It knocked off the skylights in her house and there was flooding and it was, um, you know, all these huge problems. And then her renter um, stopped paying rent and she had to evict her, you know, just all these things just started going crazy. Well, as a result, uh, the insurance adjuster came in and, and noticed she needed new paint. Uh, she needed new carpeting. Um, they were going to replace the skylight so it wouldn't happen again. And oh, by the way, I was up on the roof and there's some tiles missing. I think we need to give you a new roof. <laughs> well, she ended up getting a check for $22,000, was able to fix up the place, got the old renter out, was able to rent for even more than she was getting before. But what was happening is all the parts that were not in this high vibration where she really wanted to be, uh, had to kind of fall away. And so this is how the universe was supporting her with this additional money, getting the old low vibrating renter out. And so um, you, can, you can see how things can maybe feel like they're getting worse before they're getting better. And so sometimes maybe you've worked with a, a mentor or a coach or someone who is helping you along and things seem to get worse. And you're thinking, oh, this is not working. This is not working. So the way to tell if you're experiencing a spiritual detox as a result of raising your vibration, or you're just attracting a lot of low vibrational stuff because you're at a low vibration, maybe on, not on everything, but maybe there's some things. And so the best way to find that out is to get a personal vibrational temperature report. This is what one of the gifts that I do is being able to measure your vibrational frequencies for lots of things like uh, how much anger you have, how much is your martyr, that hardworking, struggling, suffering. You know, once you release that martyr, you're not going to do things the hard way anymore. Everything just gets a whole lot easier. And uh, so there's lots of things that this um, temperature report measures, but the reason that I'm saying that this is really the best way is that like when I work with my clients and then things start to sh change and maybe they're feeling like go oh, things are kind of getting a little worse here. <laughs> uh, if all the numbers are high, then we know that this is just all the stuff that's leaving. And so then you can kind of rest assured that, you know, life's not going in the shitter, uh, but you're just experiencing some, some detox systems and system. And that's the good news. You're just letting go of some old stuff, but you wouldn't know that if you couldn't um, know where your vibrational temperature is. And so that's the beauty of the work that I do is that we not only start with a really high vibration through just one session, but then we spend a whole month tracking every couple days where your temperature is so that you stay in this high vibration. That's really the best way. Hey, Angela, that's really the best way um, to know if the detox is indeed detox or if you're just attracting low vibrational stuff. So I say welcome, welcome these changes that are happening because it, it's all showing that you're, you're letting go of the garbage and that's the only way you're going to get to these higher vibrations and stay in those higher vibrations. So this is a great time. Hey, Monica, nice uh, having you to join us. Uh, today it, and over the next three days at the, uh, the solstice, summer solstice, winter solstice and the equinoxes are all really great times to do a new vision board. I love doing these and I actually haven't done them uh, in a little while because of so much traveling and then my mom passed away and so lots of stuff going on. But I'm going to do one today with a friend and so I'm looking forward to that. But it's a great time to reset the energies on the winter solstice for your next quarter. And I uh, have a system that, that I created and it comes with a workbook. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to post that. It comes with a, a webinar that I did and a uh, live workshop that's also part of this whole toolkit 
that gives you the map, the map that I use to create what I call, <laughs> are the most powerful vision boards on the planet. So I have a very specific system on how to really amplify uh, your your board. There's a very specific way of placing things so that it really amplifies it in addition to other things. In my opinion, the most important, raising your vibration before you even create your board because you're gonna create your board in the vibration that you're at. So super important to raise your vibration before you start planting all those seeds and, and putting your, your board into action. So I'll, I'll post those two links uh, and this would be a great weekend to contemplate um, whether or not you've been resisting uh, maybe working with a, a coach or a, a mentor because it seems to stir up stuff. <laughs> and, and if you're one who likes to avoid feeling stuff or experiencing um, some of this stuff as it's leaving your body, uh, then that's really when you need the most help is to help you navigate through all of this stuff that's coming up. So there's ways that if you're, you have someone that's really experienced with how to um, uh, process the energies in a much quicker way to help you do that, the, the detox symptoms are not going to be as big and you don't have to feel you know, every ache and pain and fear and uh, sadness and anger as it's leaving your body. There's a much faster way you can just shortcut through a lot of this stuff. So if you've been resisting working with someone, you might consider getting the report just to see where I like to start with people and um, to see where you are vibrationally, see how far you are from your goals and dreams. So Monica, um, Yes, thank you. Solstice blessings to you as well. So uh, I hope you would get out and enjoy this, this weekend and maybe you'll use it as an opportunity to create your new board and plant your seeds of intention for this, for this next quarter. So sending much love and I hope you keep asking my favorite question, which is how, <laughs> how does it get any better than this? And then stay in that blissful question of I wonder. Sending myself friends. Namaste.